Selling products or services on your EverWeb website is easy using the PayPal widget. First of all, sign up for a PayPal account if you do not have one already. Your customers do not have to have a PayPal account to be able to pay for goods and services via PayPal. Start by drag and dropping the PayPal widget onto your page in EverWeb. In the email address field, enter the email address where the payments will be sent. This will be the email address that is associated with your PayPal account. Next, choose your button type. You can choose from a Buy Now button, an Add to Cart button, a View Cart button, or a Donate button. The Buy Now and Add to Cart buttons are best used when setting up the purchase process for individual products. You might want to add the View Cart button near the top of the page. If you're going to use the Donate button for donating to charitable causes, check out our dedicated YouTube video using the PayPal widget for donations. Enter a name for the item in the Item Name field. It is recommended that you enter an item ID even if you are not going to use tracking, as this will guarantee that the widget works properly when visitors to your site make a purchase. Enter the price of the product, the currency used, and the country in which you operate your business in. If there is a shipping cost associated with the item, enter the amount. Otherwise, leave the shipping cost at zero. Select the shipping requirement. You can choose from Prompt for an address but do not require one, Do not prompt for an address, or Prompt for an address and require one. If a tax rate is applicable, enter the tax rate as a percentage. For physical products, you can enter the weight of the item in either pounds or kilograms. If you would like to open the shopping cart in a new tab in the web browser, check that option. If the item is something that buyers might purchase multiples of, check the Show Quantity field, which will allow buyers to input the quantity they wish to purchase. The quantity label by default will display quantity, but you can change this if you want. You can choose to align the PayPal form to the left right or centre. Use the Product Options section if you are selling items that have different options available. For example, let's say I'm selling t-shirts, which come in different sizes. For the option label, I type in Size, and then click on the Add button. If there are different prices associated with each size, I can specify the price. Repeat this process for all of your product size options. The second option allows you to do the same thing, but without the price difference. So for example, in this case I can add colour choices as my options. Conversely, if I wanted the different colours to have different prices, I would use the first option for colour choices, and the second option for the sizing choices. The Custom Pay button section of the widget allows you to specify the look of the payment button. You can use a custom image for your button if you do not want to use the default PayPal button image. Just select the Use Custom Pay Button Image option and click on the Choose button to select the button image you would like to use. The button image can be scaled using the Width and Height fields. You can enter the values in pixels or as a percentage value of the button's width and height. To keep the proportions of the button correct, set a value for the width or height of the button. Then set the value of the other field to Auto. In addition to using your own button image instead of the default PayPal button, you can alternatively use a styled button. First check the Use Styled button box. Then enter the button label in the Button Caption field. Set the colours of the button's background, text and radius of the button's border as you want. The higher the radius value, the more rounded the button's corners will be. Use the colour and font options to define the look of the button. In the additional options section of the widget, you can redirect your customers to a thank you page or a council page if you have created these pages in your site. You can repeat this process for every product that you want to sell on your site. Use the product info section of the widget if you want to add an image and or a description of the product or service you are selling. The description is added using the style text editor. When using the PayPal widget, you may want to sell multiple items and provide a shipping discount based on the number of items your customer is buying. In this scenario, 
you will need to specify shipping costs based on the total value of your customer's card. To do this, open your browser and go to paypal.com. Sign into your PayPal account. In the Tools menu, select All Tools. Scroll down the list until you find Shipping Calculator. Click on it to open the Shipping Calculations screen. The example shown here is for shipping from a country that uses the euro currency. Depending on where your business is located, this page might look slightly different. If you are unable to locate where to update your shipping calculations, please contact PayPal for assistance. In my example, I am going to specify the following shipping costs for price ranges. For the 1 euro cent to 9.99 range, I want the shipping cost to be 3 euros. I will continue to add shipping costs for the other ranges that I want. These shipping costs will override the shipping cost you input in the PayPal widget in Everweb. When finished, this is what a sample e-commerce page might look like and what a shopping cart might look like once the customer has added a few products to it. Notice that the total shipping cost is equal to the shipping cost I specified for any order total within this price range. The shipping cost will adjust automatically depending on what is in the shopping cart.